Hello friends, in this video we will discuss university weights. This is a very important topic of English literature and we will also come to know the writers of university weights and some of the facts which you may not be knowing it. So please do like, share and subscribe my channel and I am Shazi Jamal, you are watching English Literature Zone. Now without wasting your time, let's get into the video. When we talk about university weights, the first question that comes in our mind is who coined the term university weights? Who were the writers included in this group and what was the style and theme used by them? So one by one in this video we will discuss everything. Please keep watching. Do not skip the video. University weights was the term which was coined by George Sansbury. It was a group of seven writers who were known as university weights and they were Christopher Marlowe, Thomas Lodge, Thomas Kidd, Thomas Nash, Robert Greene, John Lilly, and George Peel. In short, you can remember them as CM3T LPG. LPG here is not the LPG gas cylinder. It is uh, the short and tricky way to remember all these writers. CM stands for Christopher Marlowe. 3T stands for Thomas Lodge, Thomas Kidd, Thomas Nash. And LPG stands for Lily, Peel, and Green. All these writers either studied at Oxford or Cambridge University, except Thomas Kidd. Thomas Kidd studied at Merchant Taylor's School, and that is why he sometimes is not included in university weeks. There was a question in UGC net earlier, two or one or two years earlier, it was asked that which one of the writer is not included in university weeds. So the option is Thomas Kidd. There were Elizabethan writers who set the stage of theoretical renaissance of Elizabethan England and they made a way for Shakespeare. The writers of university weeds were the professional writers with trained skills in dramas and writings which made them scholars so they inculcated arrogance being skilled. Most of the writers of University Weeds had interest in heroic theme with valuable interest and literary methods. The writers of University Weeds used elegant lines and powerful declination in their writings. They dealt with tragic themes because most of the writers of this group had met with stormy lives. The significant elements in heroic themes which were used by University Weeds were heroic treatment, Splendid descriptions and the picture of violent incidents and emotions. There was a craze for heroic themes in the writers of University Weeds, as we can see the lives of Muhammad and Tamburlaine portrayed by Marlowe. The style of these writers was also heroic. The nature of the themes were usually tragic. In the early dramas, lack of real humor was one of the significant features. Now let's discuss each of these writers one by one in detail and their works. The first writer which we will discuss here is John Lilly. John Lilly was born in 1554 and died in 1606. He is very famous for his prose romance Effuse or the Anatomy of Wits which was published in 1578 and its sequel Effuse and His England that was published in 1580. The name Effuse literally means a person well endowed with wit. His other famous work is Women in the Moon and Endymion. Lily wrote in a very infusive language that is ornamental and bombastic language. He used a dignified language for his writings. He also wrote an, uh, another famous work that is Medas which was an allegorical play based on metamorphosis. The next writer of this group in University Weed was George Peel. He was born in 1558 and died in 1596. He was one of the most attractive among the playwrights of his time. He wrote the first historical play, Edward I, which was a chronicle play. 
His other important works are Agment of Paris, which was a kind of romantic comedy, and the other work was The Old Wife's Tale, which was a clever satire on the popular drama of the day. The style was a little violent to the point of absurdity. The next writer of this group was Robert Greene. 1558 was his date of birth and he died in 1592. His most of the plays found a place in the development of the drama. His erratic energy, his quick and malicious wit and his powerful imaginations are seen very clearly through his plays. Robert Greene is considered as the founder of romantic comedy. His comedy, his honorable history of friar bonge and friar bacon which is a play which was written in 1591 and it is one of the most romantic comedies of the time it was robert green who for the first time recognized that shakespeare has imitated them and so he says shakespeare an upstart crow the other writer of this group is thomas kidd He was born in 1558 and died in 1594. He is one of the most important of the university wits. He is known for revenge tragedy and he was inspired by Seneca, the first revenge tragedy writer. His one of the famous work is the Spanish tragedy which is also known as Hieronima is mad again which is based on tragedy of Seneca. Other writer is Thomas Nash. who was born in 1567 and died in 1601 the most famous work is picasso's tale which is written by thomas nash the unfortunate traveler or the life of jack wilton this played an important role in the development of the novel thomas lodge was another name of this group he was born in 1558 and died in 1625 He was a good writer. He was imitated by Shakespeare for civil war. He wrote many political works also. An Alarm Against Usurers was a very famous work written by Thomas Lodge. His other important works are The Wounds of Civil War, A Looking Glass for London and England with Robert Greene and A Treatise of the Plague. The last writer of this group is Christopher Marlowe. who was born in 1564 and died in 1593 and without home one cannot imagine of university wits he was the greatest of the pre shakespearean dramatist marlowe's all plays are tragedies he did not went for comedy and the comic part which were found in some of his works are of lower quality he is generally called as the father of english tragedy and it was marlow and kid who emphasized blank verses the first play of marlow is dido queen of carthage which was written while he was a student at cambridge tamerlan the great about a scythian shepherd dr foster's which was about a scholar and the jew of malta are some of his most famous works his poetic vision that typically renaissance ghost for power shows undoubtedly his richness among all the writers of university wits i hope i have explained all the facts and details of university wits in a very clear and understanding way and if you have watched my video till now please do like share and subscribe my channel i will come with another video with another topic till then bye take care